In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Nice to see you all this morning. Today is a very, very special feast day, the Feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. And the Mass is being offered for a special intention for healing. And today, the Pope and all the bishops of the world are consecrating Russia and Ukraine and all the world to Mary. So as we join in this consecration, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are born made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people I will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, my Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Please bow your heads, pray in silence for the sick person for whom the Mass has been offered. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we, who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, may merit to become partakers, even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 to 14, and chapter 8, verse 10. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God, let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, psalm number 40. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offerings you wished not, the ears open to obedience you gave me. Holy cost or sin offerings you sought not, then said I, Behold, I come. Here, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 4 to 10. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, 
sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me, and holy cost and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written to me, of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holy cost and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delight it in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Please stand. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, in our endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, in our The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her, Reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. In the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ is not who he claimed to be, the Son of God, then he is the worst man who ever lived. If Jesus Christ is who he claimed to be, then today is a great feast day. And when you think about it, God gives us so much freedom that he depends on our yes. And if Mary had not said, had said yes to the angel Gabriel, the incarnation could have not taken place. So today is a beautiful feast day of the Annunciation. And today is a special day praying for peace for the world. So let us pray and thank God for the gift of Jesus. You have nine months for Christmas shopping. Nine months time to celebrate the birth of our Savior. All because of Mary's yes. And just as Mary was invited to say yes to the angel, we too, each of us, are challenged to bring Jesus to the world. Bring Jesus to everyone you meet. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God. Amen.
Let us present our needs to God, confident that God loves us, that he sent his son Jesus to be with us. So let us pray in faith. We pray for the person for whom today's Mass has been offered for a full healing. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We ask God's blessing on all the sick, especially the many dealing with ALS, Lou Gehrig's kidney disease, Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, the coronavirus, and other illnesses. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for the renewal of our church through the quad process. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all people to learn how to accompany each other on their faith journey and learn from the Ananias training, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For an end to the war in Ukraine and for all people to bring peace, the peace of Jesus to all hearts, to all homes and to all countries, we pray to the Lord. Amen. We thank God for his blessings. We ask God to answer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in you is made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, let the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she, who is aware of her beginnings, lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice and celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to us. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men, and for man's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They are called from St. Teresa of Avila on the Eucharist. She said, When you have received Holy Communion, close your bodily eyes so that you may open the eyes of your soul. Then look upon Jesus in the center of your heart. You're indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceased to see at work, so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offering and pour out of them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son alone is just handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms are outstretched between heaven and earth, become the lasting sign of your covenant. He desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving the thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when some 
for was it? Knowing that he is about to reconcile all things in himself to his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving him thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those who unite to your Son by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints of the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph our Spies, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy 
Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.